What is going on guys, Greg Lewis TV. I'm gonna give you my review and my take on what I think of the Samsung One UI launcher. So I've been using this phone since it came out and I've been using the Samsung launchers for the last couple of years. In the past, I would always switch out my launcher for a different one when I had a Samsung phone. I didn't really like it, but now I'm kind of starting to like it. Obviously that's a little tease and a little uh, foregoing of what I'm gonna end up saying about this, but I wanted to get into it, you know, just to show you, if you don't use a Samsung phone or um, you already do maybe switch launchers, I don't know, it's it's a, it's a very interesting launcher at that and there's a lot you can do with it. Um, so right off the bat, um, you're gonna see my home screen right here, which has all my apps, my uh, folders and things like that. And uh, if you wanna customize this, it's very simple. Obviously you're just gonna, just like any launcher, it's gonna press and hold on the home screen and you have some things at the bottom down here. You can change the wallpapers, just click on wallpapers and choose any wallpaper you want. But the other cool part of this is you can actually go, it brings you right into their theme store basically as well and you can click on any of these, free or paid, and you can download it real simple. Again, if it's free or paid, just click on it and then you can even get a little preview of what it's gonna look like on your screen. And then go to the bottom here, and if it's free, it'll just say download, otherwise it'll have its price here, and you can get it, and you can have your own you know, specialized wallpaper. And then also within that, um, you also have other things you can do as well. You have, uh, right here, you have your themes, and the themes are gonna change everything about the phone from um, your text messaging, if you use the Samsung app, um, the dialer for your phone, and like, everything in between with this. So you can really customize your phone. And these are also free and paid. And there's thousands of these in here uh, to really make the phone the way you want it to look and customize it to give it that look again that you want. So it's, it's just always nice to have that. Uh, and that's for themes and then I'll see you down here. Uh, you have icons, so if you wanna change your icons, your icons are um, you know, these things right here, obviously like what kind of apps you have and what they look like. And the icon packs are just as easy, like I said, to download as the themes as well. You just go in here, choose the one you want, hit download, and it will instantly change your icons to the icons that you see on the screen. So real simple, real easy, and it's got that built-in uh, Samsung store to take care of all that. And then the last one is always on display. You can download a bunch of different ones in here as well uh, to give your phone that look when you're on the lock screen. If you know, maybe you want that heart, and it'll just download it. And again, free and paid, and it'll take care of that. Also within the settings of this launcher, you also have uh, widgets as well, which is on <laughs> every phone. But again, it's, it, if, if, you, you, if you wanna add widgets and widgets, if you didn't know, are just like little apps that would just sit on your home screen. So basically with widgets, you choose the one that you want. Maybe I want this spot. If I just press and hold it and drag it to where you want on your home screen, you can do this with any launcher. This isn't really anything new, but just to give someone a heads up on how to do it. And a lot of time you can resize these uh, it doesn't look like it can resize this one. I can remove it or get information. Basically, it's just gonna, the Spotify one will just sit here and anytime I go to it, I can play a song. It should just start playing a song. I have my volume off, but yeah, it just starts playing a song. Um, that way I don't have to open up the app. It'll just automatically do it from there. And then when you're done with it, if you don't want it anymore, just hit remove from home. Also, another thing, if you wanna add pages, just press and hold. And that's simple, just hit the plus sign and you can add a page if you wanna remove one. Throw the trash, just hit the trash, hit the trash. The thing on here is Bixby Home. If you want to turn it off, um, just swipe over from the, I guess the left to the right and just turn that off and you won't have Bixby Home so that when you're on your main home screen, you won't keep going to that uh, Bixby Home if you don't want Bixby to be there. And then lastly, within the settings here, you're gonna see home screen settings and you can go in here and this is where you can really customize your launcher. So the first one is home screen layout and this is where you can click in here and you can choose the home screen and apps which is what I have and which most people have. Meaning when you're here, you can press uh, sw swipe up to see all your apps and go left to right from there. Um, and then you have all your home screens and your, app and your uh, folders or you can go in here and make it kind of like an iPhone and meaning that you'd have no, you just have home screens only and you hit apply and all your apps are going to be on here um, that you would want i don't like the way this looks you don't you can't swipe up well you can swipe up but it doesn't give you any apps it's just going to give you uh, search results and things like that and that's it and again i don't like this mode if you but if, it's good i guess if you had maybe uh, someone coming from an iphone that was wanting to keep that kind of look and they didn't want to have to deal with a separate page of apps and home screens. They just wanted everything on the same screen. I can totally understand why someone might like that, but otherwise it's 
totally not for me at all, but I, again, it's a, it's a good little feature to have. Um, home screen grid and app screen grid. So you can make this bigger, smaller, and it'll give you a little preview uh, of what it's going to look like and how it's going to arrange your apps and all that. So it's a really good indicator showing you that. Uh, and then when you're done, you just hit apply. But again, nice to easily uh, control your home screen grid. Same thing with the app uh, screen, screen grid. You can just press the preview button and it'll show you and you can go through your apps and you see what it's going to look like. When you're done, you hit apply. Uh, next, we're gonna get the apps button, which if you turn that on, you go back here, it's gonna add this instead of you having to swipe up, which you still can, you can hit this and it's gonna bring your apps button. I keep it with my dad, because for my dad, it's he's someone that's probably gonna have a little bit of issue with getting to his app, so I, I kept that button on there. So I can see if maybe you're a little, you're an older person, you're used to the way something is and you don't wanna change it, or maybe you're just a younger person as well and you don't wanna change it, keep that apps button on there. But it's a good little feature to have as well. Um, app icon badges, meaning you click on this, it's basically when you get an app uh, notification, it's, it's gonna, if you turn it on, uh, it's gonna give you a number. It shows you right here next to it to let you know how many notifications you have for that app. You can still show it and it'll show a little dot without a number if you want. Otherwise you can keep that and it'll show the number. And uh, yeah, so it's cool to have that as well without having to install another app like you do. I believe you still have to do that with Nova. In order to see notification numbers, you have to install a, a secondary app for that. At least you had to in the past. Um, this is one of my favorite ones, especially for people like my dad, who is not tech savvy and has some issues with moving his apps around on the screen. If you press this on, lock your home screen layout, you cannot move these apps. It's a great thing to have. Every time I go on my mother-in-law's phone or my father-in-law or my father's phone, they always move their apps around and it's a big pain in the ass. Uh, and that stops them from doing that. It locks everything into place so that way they can't move it. So if, turn that on for your folks and people that are consistently messing up their home screens accidentally. Um, add apps to home screen. When you download a new app, it's automatically gonna add it to your home screen. I love that being on so that way I don't have to go looking for the app when it's installed. A uh, quick open notification panel. I also keep that on. Basically, it just makes it easier for you to get to your notifications. Um, when I swipe down, it's going to allow me to, you know, if I can swipe down from anywhere without having to go all the way up here to get to my notifications, I can just swipe anywhere on the screen, especially with screens today being huge. That's a big help right there as well. Uh, then we have a rotate to landscape mode. Basically, uh, if you turn that on, you'll be able to turn your phone this way or that way and be able to get um, it to rotate with your phone. I don't like this mode. I think it's kind of lame, but if you, I, I like it just to be landscape, just because that's the way I always hold my phone, but you can see it will uh, automatically rotate the way you hold your phone, but I keep that off. I think that's the better way. Other than that, I believe that was it for the, for the, uh, the oh, you can also hide apps, actually, click on that. Uh, if you want to hide apps, uh, maybe you are trying to hide your affair from your lover or hide some stuff from the kids that you don't want them to see or whatever the reason, uh, you can go in here and click these apps and hide them away so that uh, it's gonna be hard and difficult for other people to find them and know that you have them. But other than that, that's all this, the, the settings on there. But anyways, it's a great launcher. I really love it. The, the, the one thing, and I've said this in the past, is I really wish that it had vertical scrolling, which it doesn't, unfortunately. Um, it's just left to right. I don't know why Samsung has it set up that way. I like going vertical when I'm looking through my apps, but whatever, regardless. Uh, the other thing, when you go into your um, apps, like where all your apps are, uh, you do have some, you can sort these things. By default, it's at custom order, which ends up putting all your apps in like some crazy looking fashion. So I just do it alphabetical order and that makes my life a little bit easier. And my family's a little bit easier. Well, I always switch that for them uh, in there. Uh, finder settings, you can go in here and you can show suggested apps if you want that they think you might want to use or they, based off your usage. Uh, customization service uh, improves your experience uh, personalizing your content. So if you want to use this, uh, you can turn on the customization service. Uh, you can select which apps Finder will show in results. You can add a Finder icon. So basically it's just, it's just the search up here that allows you to search for things if you want to search for YouTube and it's gonna bring up the results of anything that shows YouTube, have it be an app, uh, a, a 
uh, email address, whatever it may be, it's gonna search tons of stuff for you. And that there, kids, is the launcher. I know it's kind of more of a, uh, an overview than a review, but again, I, I really like it. I wish they'd add vertical scrolling. But other than that, it, it does everything that I need. It has the customization in terms of being able to make the home screens the way I want with um, the icons or themes uh, or wallpapers, and uh, it does everything else as well. And it's very fast too, it's very, very fluid. This is the most fluid <clears throat> launcher experience I've ever had on a Samsung phone for sure. It's been really, really good. Let me know your thoughts. Do you use the Samsung launcher? Do you use another launcher? Why? And uh, what's your favorite feature? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you down the road. Peace.